Well, we're here talking about partners in safety today, of course, making sure all the little ghosts and goblins out there are safe on Halloween night. Abdul Rafi joins us with uh, Bylaw. Now, tell us a little bit about what your guys' role will be on Halloween night in the partners in safety. So Halloween night, we will have officers monitoring residential communities, along with our partners from Calgary Police, Fire, EMS, and Calgary Transit. Okay, we've been talking about, uh, you know, having that conversation with uh, the trick-or-treaters, making sure they know, you know, if they ever feel in trouble or threatened at all throughout the night who they can go to so you guys will be out there be uniformed and kids can know if, if they have any issues to come up to you guys absolutely they can approach any of our officers if they do need assistance uh, they can also attend any one of the fire halls which will be open throughout the evening as well good point now you guys also have a long list of safety tips for us uh, when uh, when we're talking about treats and the candy and all that kind of good stuff that they're gonna get that night what do we have to remember and keep in mind as parents so it's important that before they eat any of the candy that they are being checked by the parents. Okay. Uh, it's also important that when they are out trick-or-treating to wear reflective gear, uh, try to stay bright, try to stay visible. Okay. Um, when you are crossing the street, try to do so at uh, marked intersections. Okay. And if possible, wear, uh, carry a flashlight on you. Okay, that's kind of hard for some of those little ones. They're so excited. They just want to run across the street, especially when they see kids coming from another one. So if your parents out there, make sure you're trying to make sure they cross out the corners and the intersections. Absolutely, it's important that we're out there, we're having a good time, but we're staying safe. Okay, now you, you mentioned reflective gear for um, the costumes. What about um, loose fitting clothing and making sure they're not uh, impeded, I guess, tripping or anything like that? As long as it doesn't interfere with their movements, okay. it's best to wear clothing that uh, won't you know cause anybody to trip or some type of hazard, but it's best to try to stay bundled, try to stay warm mm -hmm. uh, and Essentially, it's up to the parents to make sure that the kids are dressed properly. Right. We're in Canada. We're used to wearing our skidoo suits underneath our costumes, right? Absolutely. Okay, any other uh, tips out there for maybe the little bit the older kids, the kids that are going out just with their friends and maybe don't have the parents tagging along? It's important that when you're out there, try to avoid going into the stranger's home. Um, stay at the front door if possible. Uh, don't try to cut through any back alleys or private property. Um, as well, it's important that if you are going out Tell your parents what area you will be visiting and what time you'll probably be home that night. Awesome. Thanks for this, Abdul. Thank you. Some great tips for Halloween safety on Thursday night. Don't forget, have the conversation with your kids about the partners in safety that will be out there in the community, making sure everyone has a happy Halloween. We're back after this.